What's the crack lads? Welcome to another tier list. Today we're going to be taking a look at all V3.4 players. So we've got all the legends including the latest boosters, Ronaldinho and of course Adriano. We also have Carlos. We've got the big time Arsenal that you see here. We've got a couple of the free players still available. The free spins that you get from the penalties. The classic number 10 nominating contracts. The club icon nominating contracts. And a range and variety of other player of the weeks from the selection so far with V3.4, including Kavara that we see here as well as part of the league selection for the attackers, and Vritz, who is down as a player of the week. Now we're going to be kind of like going through this fairly quick. We're going to start down at the bottom. So we have actually got six tiers and switching it up a little bit. This one, we've got six tiers. So we're starting with uh, the release down here, which is the red. These are cards that if you get them, Basically, there is not even a point in training them up or really using them. Now, obviously, any player, to put a disclaimer on this, right? Any player that you use can score goals in this game, depending on the skill level of your opponent, the division that you're playing in, if you're playing offline, online. These are basically ranked, right, as if you're going to be competitive enough online for the average player. The average player is going to be looking if they're going to improve your squad or not. Of course, if you start off and you've got 60 overall players on your squad, any of these players are going to be a massive upgrade. But if you've got a fairly decent team, and I would say if you've even been playing for a week, this is where this review will come in handy. And then obviously up towards the upper, uh, the upper tiers as well. So we're going to start with the release and then D. We're going to uh, kind of like slot between the two of these. That's going to be the majority of the players in here. So we are going to start with a couple of these players here um, and just put them straight in, right? So we have about 60 players in total. We're going to do release and D. As I said, don't take it too personal if you say, oh, but Pooley, he's releasing him, but Pooley is actually a beast of a player. This is just because of this tier list. There are some really high quality players on this tier list that I definitely feel are really, really solid if you play them and if you train them right. And for the player of the weeks, even though they're slightly limited, they can have some good options off the bench as well. So any of these players that you have here are basically just not worth even spinning for. Zapata, who's down there as well. I would probably put the two of these as target men. Because crosses don't really work, you can kind of pick your poison between the two of them. I know some people like Zapata. Probably putting him in D is probably fair. The rest of the players that you're going to see here, there isn't anyone else really in this um, that I think deserves to go higher than D or release. Okay, so the rest of the players that you're going to see here is going to be a mix between them and also what comes into this as well is the fact that there are a dime a dozen there's a lot of players in this game that are a dime a dozen um such as akuna here who goes into d i'm probably going to struggle to put in a couple of players into the release section because that's slightly more controversial because as, as i said there's none of these players really bad i'm probably going to stick ganzo into release or not to sign and i'll probably stick john mario into release or not to sign as well strictly just because of this tier list if there was a few legends missing from this and obviously to get the legends you need a lot of luck i mean somebody could spin one time uh, i had a video sent to me earlier one guy spun for adriano with one spin 100 coins and he got adriano so then adriano becomes a v3.4 player but obviously in that it's not really going to come into it i'm also going to put in this guy into d as well this new legend, Gans, I think that he's just missing a trick. He's not as good as Free and Zaggy, and I don't think that Free and Zaggy is going to feature too highly on this list as we stand here with the rest of the players, right? Um, I would probably put in Vitinha in here. I'd probably put this guy in here, and I would probably put Lewandowski and Harry Kane into D. That's going to kind of tie us up here a little bit. This guy is going to go into, into the release section. And I would also probably put, hmm, let me see who I'm going to put in here. I don't want to make this video too long. I'd probably put Bruno in here. I'd probably put Harry Kane in here. I'm probably going to put, oof, this is a tough one, man, because of his player ID. But I do feel like I need to put Muller in here to round things off with the rest of these players. And probably Moteng and then Savage. Although we have one, I'll bring Muller out of that. And I'll probably put up one of the Harry Kanes up there. So that's kind of where we're going with that so far, right? Now we can bring this up a little bit here as well. Also with this, we're four minutes in. We have D and we have the release section pretty much complete. Now we're going to start with C. So join in Harry Kane. And I think this is going to be fairly quick. We're going to probably just pop in the rest of these guys here. Uh, I will probably put in this Delict. He's missing a couple of bits and pieces. I will also probably put in Garnacho, Bebeto, uh, let me see who else we could pop in here. Semedo, Malon, Malin, uh, probably David Rea because he's a good keeper, but he's missing a couple of things as well. That's going to leave us with three tiers left. Now, I'm obviously going to have to add a few more to C and D, but I'm fairly happy with that. 
In terms of the S tier, I think we kind of know who's going to be pretty much into the S tier based on a bit of luck if you get them or not. And obviously, everybody is going to get Wilshire, Maradona, and Costa Corta. Just depends on when you get them. And Ronaldo as well. I would be tempted just because it's Cristiano to put him into a B. And I would also probably put in Havertz into B. I'd probably put Martinelli into B. Alvarez, Hoyland. Do you know what, lads? I'm thinking, actually, will I bring out... Uh, Cancelo into this and put Hyland down here. I think I will. Cancelo is actually a really good option. That's probably slightly controversial, but we'll see. Kubo, all of these three players are going to be in here. I'll probably put in Zaggy in here, the same tier as Havertz and Ronaldo. I know that Martinelli and Havertz have got big time boosters, but to me, they're just not at that level, in my opinion. We also have uh, Valverde to go in here. I would probably put to round this off. Mm, this is going to be tough, man. This is going to be tough. Because of the limitations on these players, I would probably put one of them into B as well. The reason for that is that none of these cards are going to be used with the boosters that they have unless you're going to be using them for the events. Again, it is slightly controversial, but I'm trying to be as fair as possible for the average player that is going to be using these and expecting them to be big time, you know? Now, to kick off with A, I could potentially bring out... Do you know what? I'll probably bring out uh, uh, Martinelli there. And I would probably put uh, Dybala in there. And that will round off the B and the C there as well as the D and the release. Now we've got an extra 10 players here. We're going to have to dip and double up with the Bs and the Cs. But I think it's going to be fairly easy enough to, to kind of put in the rest of the players. Oblak is going to go in there. We're going to put Musi in there. We're also going to put, I think, Militao in there as well. Again, I could transfer him out for Dybala. It depends on who I have left over. We're also going to put Nakata in there. Not ultimate tier, I don't think, but he's definitely good enough. Vritz, I think, just misses out, as well as Kimi from the S tier, in my personal opinion. And lads, to be honest with you, I kind of have to put Alonso in there as well. I don't think that Alonso is S tier. I don't. From this selection that you have here, I can't really put him in there, in my personal opinion. Lorente as well, I'm going to pop him in there just because there's a couple of other players that have been added to this, such as Wilshire, such as Ronaldinho, that I think have to be kind of S tier. Adriano is a difficult one with the rest of the players on this list. You're talking about Odegaard versus Adriano and Gundo, but we are going to have to double dip into B or C, depending on where we put them. So let's kick off with S tier, right? We're definitely going to put Carlos in. We're going to put Ferrer in for where the game plays at. We're going to put Ronaldinho. We're going to put Jack Wilshere, one of the most complete players in the game. Tommy definitely goes in there. Mbappe is always an S-tier card, in my opinion, even though he's been slightly nerfed. Costa Corta, Rodri Club Icon, who you can sign for free, which is always a bonus. Maradona has definitely improved since the last uh, patch massively. He's massively improved. I would also be tempted to put in Gundo into here and Adriano in here. And that's going to round us off with all the players there. Now, I'm going to leave one off, right? Just to kind of make this uh, fairly, fairly good. We're going to show you this here. That is going to be it, man. That is going to be it. I think that's kind of a fairly, fairly good one. And then also on top of that, we can put Odegaard in here as well. Now, there is a couple of controversial ones in there, but I definitely think that Carlos, Ferrer, Ronaldinho... Ronaldinho is not going to be meta if you're comparing him to the rest of the players in the game. There's probably about 10 better attacking midfielders than Ronaldinho in the game. Even just off the top of my head, Baggio, Cruyff, Del, uh, uh, Baggio, Cruyff, Honus, Del Piero probably in there, thereabouts as well. Neymar, that's five. Musiala is six. So uh, Maradona, I think as well, is definitely going to be in around there. Son Krasen is in, in or around there as well. Especially for the fact that you have to go deep for Ronaldinho. And if you need to go deep for Ronaldinho. The only other change I would p potentially make is I would be tempted to put Zelinski up one, Havertz up one, um, and have that there. And then maybe bring... I, I know I have Harry Kane. See, this is a tough one because it depends on how you train him. Kubo has actually got a fantastic uh, card there. But I definitely would be tempted to put Kubo up into A, depending on how you train him. He's really good. He's got some unique play style now as well. And maybe put Dabit Rea up there as well. Then I'd be kind of tempted to put Stoichkovic up there as well. That's a tough one, man. Dybala, I think, and Zaggy. I'm fairly happy with the last three tiers. I know Harry Kane being in there and Kavara being in there. I just think that there's better cards out there in their positions now. But let me know what you guys think. I will be back very, very soon with another tier list. Let me know how right or wrong I am. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is all the players for V3.4 so far. If I missed any, get in touch in the comments below. And let me know how badly I did on this tier list. Peace.